right, three minutes past our 10, Y107.9 FM, Friday, 19th of August, 2022. Uh, we told you guys earlier, something special is going to happen at 10. We're all set for that. Now, the International Youth Day IYD celebrated annually on August the 12th is a day set aside by the United Nations to draw attention to the cultural and legal issues surrounding the youth worldwide. Now, the theme for this year's IYD was intergenerational solidarity, creating a world for all ages. And UMB, a bank that has the youth at the core of its strategy, has therefore partnered with Ghana's number one youth uh, urban music station. YFM to celebrate the Ghanaian youth throughout the month of August. And so, so this is a special one for us. At UMB, the positioning includes an early best strategy where the bank aims to convert young people to the bank. Uh, example from uh, the Smart Fees product to mainline propositions via the Speed App, the Aspire account, and other Digibank propositions. Part of the per- persona for uh, UMB is a bank that is young at heart. Of course, it syncs with our theme as well, always leading the way in being modern. That's in line with this that YFM, Ghana's number one urban music station, and UMB are bringing to you the youth, uh, you know, uh, financial literacy webinar dubbed intergenerational solidarity message to my younger self on finance. So it's basically going to be a webinar about things that are supposed to be done the right way. Um, the direct, sorry, the direct, um, you know, uh, I mean, things we need to directly do to change our finances as young people. Uh, we, we can have fun all the time. Um, have fun through our youthful days and not plan things right with regards to our finances and then we'll find ourselves wanting later. But UMB says no. We need to advise ourselves and of course give advices to our younger selves. But what we know now, of course through my panelists this morning and then through that advice, all young people locked into the show today to take up their finances and do things the right way. So let me introduce my panelists this morning. I have me Jeffrey Odami Yeboa. Um, for my family members watching on uh, uh, our YouTube and our socials, he's the man in the... I think this is green, right? I'm colorblind sometimes, you know. My color um, eyes are gone. And I can see some yellow, blue, and red in there. Yeah. That's correct, right? Great. So, Jeffrey Odami, your boy's head of personal banking at UMB. Kennedy uh, Ominako is team lead at UMB Transaction Bank. Uh, Transaction Banking, sorry. And for Steve Naya, PS Corporate Affairs at UMB. Welcome to YFM, guys. Thank you. Um, are we ready to yes. talk? Yes, very ready. <laughs> very ready. Uh, I just want us to go further to introduce ourselves. I mean, I mentioned your positions, but l- let us break down what we do in our day-to-day activities. I mean, w- when we come to corporate affairs, what does your duties entail? What are you um, around at work? Okay, so my job really entails the aesthetics of UMB. So mm. from the brand, how you perceive us, mm. the human relations aspect, being able to interact with the media, and also relating well with our stakeholders mm. because we work with different stakeholders from customers to the regulator to every other person who comes together to make UMB a safe place or one of the most reputable banks that has been doing this for 50 years wow. so that's basically what I do okay Jeffrey talk to us yes my job is pretty simple um, basically I look at all the individual individuals in the bank mm. all the accounts that individuals open and for example the accounts for youth and we want the youth to be able to have accounts that they can use to mm, save. Mm. So I take care of all that. We have accounts for adults, for all ages. I make sure that till I meet products to make sure that everybody is happy to come to the bank. Mm. And to make sure that when people are opening the account, the experience is seamless. Okay. They are happy to stay with us. All right. Thank you so much, um, Jeffrey. And then I move to Kennedy Omenako. He is... Um, Team lead for UMB Transaction Banking. Yes, um, thank you. So my job is pretty uh, easy. Um, what I handle at UMB uh, uh, entails giving support to our business units with regards to transaction banking mm-hmm. um, platforms. So I handle and manage the collection platforms that we have. I also manage the remittance business together with bank assurance mm. and, and others. Mm. And so basically, I, I provide that support that is needed uh, amongst our business units from corporate uh, SME to consumer banking. All right, perfect. So we're good to go. If you've, joined, if you've joined us on our Facebook, if you have a question for all that we're about to discuss, the hashtag is UMBIYD2022. If you missed this, 
your question is going to go to somebody else, but we need it right here in the studio so you can be a part of the conversation. So kindly send the right one, and then make sure you communicate with us throughout. Anything you'd like to share along the line, let's uh, you know get straight into it. So straight to business, I want to start off by, of course, um, the entire conversation circles around financial literacy. Um, I want to find out from you, Fosti. Um, Faustina, why is it even necessary for young people to take finances serious? I, I'm young. Um, uh, I'm told you get serious around when you're becoming an adult. <laughs> like, and, and when I say adults, when things are falling apart, that's when you get serious. <laughs> Why is it even necessary for me? My mom, my dad has money. I'm good. I'm giving my, my monthly, you know, uh, I don't know if it's called salary, but then your, allowance. yes, exactly. Your allowance, small, small, it's fine. I'm able to go out and chill my friends. Why do I even need to worry about my finances? I'm not there yet. Okay, so um, it's the best time and the best opportunity for you to plan for your future. Even if you feel your parents have a million dollars or a billion dollars, um, there's a local saying that that even the sea gets fed with rain. So there is no better time to plan for your future now. And how do you become a better adult when you don't understand finance? Um, some of the things that I believe, in my opinion, have bedeviled the African continent is because we probably did not take our finances seriously. And that has informed some of the borrowing that we do when we, ha we are actually one of the richest continents, if not the richest um, continent in the world. So it's very important. And your youth actually means that you you can do more you have the energy you have the time you can save you can do different ventures so as you're here you have your regular job but you could take up another side hustle and that could even go into planning for your early retirement why wait till 40 50 60 when your bones are aching you don't even have the time to get up and do what you're supposed to be doing and then the children come the bills come like clockwork and now you're complaining and you're bashing the president for not doing his part but you you could have actually helped yeah. by you know I mean, help exactly you could have done that by taking certain pragmatic decisions regards to your finances so it's very important to do it now um, we and we have to start even looking at children okay. the susu box is very important now inculcating in them the habit of saving the habit of planning for their future so that you can be financially independent I mean sometimes you can be on the job and you wish you had money to just say I'm done let me go so if you <laughs> I know <laughs> so just do it now so that you don't get stuck mm -hmm. in a job where you're not contributing mm -hmm. to the organization's goals and vision mm -hmm. rather you could be on your own and do something so yeah All right so Faustina basically says take your finances serious now because your mortal body might fail you <laughs> um, unforeseen circumstances might come up um, wherever your financial source is now that you're young, um, that's making you feel like you don't have to take the right decisions now can fill you. Uh, people pass. Um, houses get bent. Mm. You know, companies just run away with money mm. at some point, And so anything else can happen. But what do we have to do as young people? I think she touched on a few of it. But I want you, Jeffrey, to break down the things we have to do in order to necessitate financial um, 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 strength or, or, or things we need to do in order to... Um, you know put ourselves in a serious mood to focus on our finances as young people okay it's basically a lot of the mm. practical things mm. that we do not think about um for example reading mm. personal finance mm. you can just go to google and type personal finance mm. do you understand what is happening when they say inflation is going up <laughs> yes do you understand all that, <laughs> do you understand all that? <laughs> do you understand when we say the exchange rate for the dollar against the CD, what is the implication, mm. do you understand mm. it? Do you understand how all these things affect your pocket? Do you understand why petrol prices are going up? Mm. You do not need to go to a special school to get this, you can just go to Google and then find out what's happening. Now when you know what is happening, it will also guide how you spend yeah. and how you live your life. Mm. Young ones today have energy. They have time, something you and I don't have, yeah. but they have it. So this is the time to really read around and try to understand the economic things that is happening. Because like it or not, I know a lot of people don't like economics, but the truth is, if you do not understand the financial environment we are in, if you do not understand what is happening, mm. you take decisions that will affect you later in life. Mm. So you have a lot of resources now. Okay. I mean, there are free online courses. That you could actually the things some of us never really had growing up, you mm -hmm. know? Yes, we never had that. I mean, during our time, we didn't even have WhatsApp. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. 
We didn't have Coursera. We mm. couldn't go online and just get a yeah. course. But all this is available. Mm. I mean, people have dedicated time to just create these things for us to learn. Mm. So the resources are there. Mm. And then you, you'd also have to try and take the initiative yeah. to enter a bank and find out what they actually do. You can walk into UMB Bank. So what is a savings account? We have people sitting there who can tell you, oh, this savings account, mm. you do it this way, you do it that way, you can open it this way. They should mm. seek advice. Mm. It's easy. You just have to work it to any bank and they'll give it to you. Jeffrey, not to cut you, but yes. are young people doing that these days? I'm very curious. You've drawn my mind to something very important. Okay. I feel you'd walk to the bank if someone hands over a check to you to go and cash mm -hmm. or you need to save money or you need to withdraw money mm -hmm. but do young people walk in to ask the products that you have um, how do I maybe I have money what do I do with it do you get young people come through these days we don't see too much of we don't them. see too I much think of most them. of them go to the bath mm. <laughs> <laughs> go and chill out and then spend it. everything kill it and then they later realize that they don't have any money yeah. okay and most of the youth are spending their time on phones. Mm. Okay. Now the phone is a good thing. It's, yeah, it's supposed something. to be a good thing, yes. yes. But if you're not learning anything, you're spending all your time on phone, you're not really learning anything, then that's a problem. Huh. Okay, thank you for that. I, I know Fossi wants to add something to that. We'll yeah, come back I, to I, I was going to say that, mm. yes. Um, I think it's also because they feel the money will come. Mm. There's, I'm young, mm. you're low, you know, yeah. you only live, you once. Only live once. So um, there's more time for me to mm. make that decision mm. later in mm. life. But when the coins flip yes. or... when the tables turn. Exactly. Stand. Then that's when, mm. or when you've actually spent that money and you realize that next income is not coming or mm. the next money to blow is not coming mm. that's when you're now thinking yeah. of savings so it should be it shouldn't some, get to that it point shouldn't. Yeah. so mm. parents nurturers everybody must make a conscious mm. effort of teaching mm. us mm. to be able to mm. love the culture of saving mm. even when you feel you don't need mm. to just do it because you never know when that money yeah, will come in yeah, handy exactly. so yeah and i love the fact that for is really stressing on parents because there's a lot parents can do to help the awards i mean i i, I think let me just uh, fix this one in up what age do you think is, is right for um uh, children to be introduced to financial literacy i think from birth from birth okay See, why i say this is this for instance if you give your one year old one cd mm. you can have a pd box mm. i'll uh -huh. give you one cd mm. put 50 pesos in there yeah. and use five um, uh, 50 pesos, pesos for your top mm -hmm. once you start at that age they know that when they get money, they must split it and yeah. keep that sum mm. down for savings. Mm. We never had that. Yeah. Some of us kept enjoying our money till we later realized that we needed it. Some of us even kept the money with our parents. You know, you <laughs> yes. get the money and you have and to go back to them. It. They take it. <laughs> You know, yeah, they take it from yeah, you. I think a lot must be done. I mean, if we're going to change things in the next generation or even now, we need yeah. to start today. Yeah. Uh, let me come to Ken. I think I've kept Ken on, uh, on the hold for a long. Yes, exactly. Ken, so with yours, I want to find out what are some, we want to go as realistic as possible. Mm -hmm. What financial tips do you know now that you wish you knew earlier? I mean, growing up, for the sake of the young ones listening, we're giving an advice to our younger selves today. So let's be very realistic about this. Yes. What financial tips do you personally think you should have known sure. while growing up? Sure. I think I'll take it from where um, uh, uh, he ended. Okay. Uh, I believe it's a cultural thing. Mm. And we didn't get this because of the, the, the culture that we, are, yes. we find ourselves in. Mm. But I think now because of the exposure, because of uh, the education, and the technology mm. which exposes us to a lot of things mm. um telling my younger self i would i would do these uh, few tips mm. that that i think would help mm. the youth mm. uh, one of it is practicing self-control mm -hmm. um because of the the monies our parents are supporting us with mm. um we take decisions later because we know more will come but I believe that if you practice self-control, mm -hmm. uh, there are situations where you need to buy this dress or this phone, yeah. and some may buy it on credit. It is so much expensive. So it's basically coming back to tell yourself, cut your coat according, according to your size. According to your size. Yes. Uh, self self control helps a lot. Mm. Um, um, here that we find ourselves, there are so many nice things that you see, but you can't really afford it. The question is, what decision would you want to take? Would mm. you want to take it on credit, knowing that in a few months it it would be it would oh, not sorry. be of need mm. for you? Mm. Mm. Uh, so self control is one tip that I'll give to our youth okay. out there. Uh, the next tip that I'll give is to to beware of bad advice. Mm. Um, there was a mention of. Um, the fact that investments go bad and all of that yeah. even in such situations where people were informed mm -hmm. they, they they still they still uh, uh, got the, the wrong side of it 
but I believe that if we 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 are, be, we, we are aware of of what is out there in the market, we we can safeguard uh, ourselves from taking certain wrong decisions mm -hmm. that lock up our funds. Mm -hmm. uh, we have in this country where uh, situations happen where people have gone on demonstrations because their funds were locked up. Mm. because they didn't educate themselves okay I, and and i believe that these two tips just to add a, a final one we should learn to budget mm. we should learn to budget many at times we so let me just add to that budgeting is not only for the government no not <laughs> at it's, all. it's an interpersonal thing yes uh person to person you and your family you and your wife you and your girlfriend you and your business yes you and your day-to-day -day activities budgets sure, budgets. Mm. it's very important mm. it's very important because it gives you a lean back strategy that's or true. A, a second option mm. or a third option mm. but if you don't plan and that situation happens that is where uh, we, we we expose ourselves to several things where mm. the youth is pressured mm. into going into mm. crime mm. and other things borrowing that are exactly. unnecessary borrowing exactly. people getting into risky businesses exactly. on the side because the small money they have left exactly. now has to fund all the big ideas they have so and they want to double it and they must keep up yes with the peers yes the yeah. peer pressure yeah. they must keep up and and most of these guys will come to the club with you but they are really saving and doing all the things that you're not yes. practicing yeah. Yeah. and so if you find yourself being pressured by things they do when you're not doing what they do you find yourself wanting i think for someone to add yeah, something i wanted to also say that um one of the things that i wish i knew about finance mm. when i was a bit younger i'm still young though <laughs> is um monetizing your talent um i think that often we do things for free so oh let me do this gig for free but if you put a certain price tag to it and you get people to pay a certain premium for it mm. that could be the side hustle or even the hustle that becomes mm. the main mm. you know in, um, steady free uh, stream of income, income for you. so rather than doing it for free because what you realize is if you start doing it for free the moment you put a price tag to it the people who take it for free do not want to pay for That's it true. so why not put just a quantum of money on it and say okay everybody is charging 500 i'll charge you 200 mm. and build a reputation and with time people will start paying premium for it but if you do it for free and by the time you're ready to actually charge you probably would have lost your market That's those are true. some of the things and then saving and um, we always think you need a lot of money mm -hmm. to be able to save save now one cd you throw it somewhere that one cd you give as i'm not saying don't tip mm. but sometimes you over tip sometimes to show off. I have an experience to share. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'll keep that for later. <laughs> you over tip mm. and mm. you're doing it for the gram mm. or it's really mm. not necessary. Mm. Like I said, we don't have the gifts of life the way we think we mm. do. We're mortal. Mm. I may be sitting here with you today, tomorrow, no, then we, we need you. Yes, I, I will be here, I promise. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, just save, save, save. Mm. Even if you think that mm. you're a trust fund baby yeah. and you don't need it, just yeah. save. You never know. Or you can save and give it to charity mm. if you're that charitable mm. but monetize your talent mm. i mm. think that that's one of the things that if i get the time to rewind you know, the clock you, i probably do. will do i like that anyways now we've talked about um financial literacy introducing ourselves to that the various things we would have wanted to do in the past um things that we know now we wish we had known earlier one of the things that's very important i mean i'm a young guy i'm always with them um, question is, what do I even do with my money? Now that I save, you mentioned that if you think you might not need it, you uh, might want to do charity with it. That's if you are uh, that into it. Yes, exactly. <laughs> but let's say I want my money to work for me because I also read and um, part of financial, you know, strength or stability is making your money work for you. Mm -hmm. um, you guys are in the field. What kind of business opportunities are available for young people now? Let's say there's somebody listening who's quite touched about this whole sermon about savings and financial literacy and wants to do something with what they've saved or what they're about to save. What business opportunities are open for us? Okay. I'll start. Okay. okay. Now, I, I believe that everybody has a talent. Mm -hmm. You need to follow your passion. Mm. Now, whatever you wish to do, if you really want to do it, you can do you it. You can. Irrespective of what anybody says. Mm. Okay? If you want to do it, you do it. So follow your passion. That would be my first advice. Because when you follow your passion and you enjoy what you are doing, you start making money out of it, mm. and then you keep making money because that is you. Mm. It, it becomes part of you. Mm. So I'll say, youth, follow your passion. Okay. Now, it's typical for some of us to kind of kill the ideas other people bring up. Mm -hmm. Do not let anybody kill your idea. <laughs> no. 
no, no, no. When you do that, you lose focus. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Always focus on what you want to do. Okay. And just go ahead and mm -hmm. do it. Mm -hmm. All right. Another thing our advice is work with your hands. Here's what I mean. Mm -hmm. In the past, it, it, it sort of was a menial job for somebody to learn a trade. Mm -hmm. But sit down today and ask yourself, there's somebody actually hiring wheelbarrows for those selling coconuts. Mm -hmm. The person's making money. Mm -hmm. There's a young lady who has put um, this brookman, the roasted plantain, yeah. on all the roads in East Legon, and hiring it out to people. Mm. She's making money, sitting mm. in mm. her house, making money. Somebody has learned how to braid their hair. Yes, the, the hair breeders. The hair breeders. <laughs> the ladies are always braiding their hair. You pay so much for it. You yeah. think of makeup. Yeah, makeup. Back then. <laughs> it wasn't a thing, you know. Back then, they would laugh at, you. laugh at you. Your friends would ridicule you if you're learning makeup. But now you, you have you to pay. You pay. Yeah. Mm. It's a lot. So That's a very good advice. Imagine that you don't have a formal job. Mm. What will you do? You can't just go and sit there and look in the air. You need to have a trade. So I advise young people, this is a time you can do a lot of things. Mm. Learn a trade. Mm. Follow your passion and learn a trade. Last thing, mm. farming. Mm -hmm. Wow. Think about it. I wasn't expecting that, though. Mm -hmm. yeah. A lot of people need food now. Mm -hmm. The population is booming. Mm. People need food. Look at the amount of food we import as a country. Mm. Assuming all the young ones decide to take up all sorts of fun, agriculture, catfish, now catfish, mm -hmm. catfish alone, the one that has been, um, they've added value, if mm -hmm. you know what I mean. <laughs> 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 the, the modern <laughs> catfish. <laughs> yes, you even pay more. You even pay more. Mm. You can actually set up a small catfish farm in your house. And, and to think of the fact that this is the Arjuna we never really respected, yeah, exactly. you know? Mm -hmm. <laughs> the base for the palm nuts. Arjuni for yes, Arjuni, Arjuni of <laughs> yesterday is now gold. That's <laughs> swag now. Yeah. So That's true. Things are mm. happening mm. around us. Now, if you know AI, if you know machine learning, yes. if you're a software engineer, like the jobs are just all over the place. Mm. Yes. Those days, IT, when they say somebody's IT, you just look at them, IT, what is IT? But today, after COVID, mm. you can see because of the way things have become online, now those people are getting a lot. So today, Get online, mm -hmm. learn about machine learning, learn about AI, learn about data analysis. Just add something. Add something. You can't just sit there and look in the sky. God will not bless what you don't have. God will bless what you have. So take the initiative mm -hmm. and then you start making. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So these are some of the business ideas you can get into. And um, beyond that, I think he gave us some very important tips. Whatever it is that you're doing, whether you have a formal job or not, you still have some time to do something extra. Mm -hmm. You know, I have friends who work in the corporate sector who would spend three, four hours of their, you know, um, time after work to braid the hair of their colleagues and charge them. Mm -hmm. You know, you're making something extra for yourself before you realize the, the end of the month comes and your salary is just sitting down quietly. You just need to end something for yourself. But for the sake of people who have already started something and are not getting the injection they need, okay, mm -hmm. um, I want to find out from you, Fosti. I'm told you have a lot of answers on this. <laughs> what are the possible avenues for financing businesses in Ghana? If I want to do my business, um, I have you as a friend. Yeah. You work at UMB. Can I just call you and then you fund me? Um, should I talk to my parents? Should I dip my hand into the family fund and, and, and fin finance my business, what, I, what's, what, what, what would be your advice on this? Okay, so initially you start looking to your own self to see, have I saved enough do I have the resources to fund this business? And sometimes, yes, there's not every business that's worth funding. Mm -hmm. I must point that out. So even before you start your idea, collaborate. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of us in Ghana do not like sharing our ideas. I think that's, that's a thing from um, our basic education. You yes. Know? We're so secretive mm -hmm. about, it's, I don't want to share mm -hmm. that. But maybe somebody could have pointed you in the right direction. Mm -hmm. And that could be the way to get money into your business. So mm -hmm. first of all, you to expand the ideation you know theory mm -hmm. by sharing with people get ideas look around you and see once it's a viable business and you see you don't have the money you can ask people mostly ask their parents mm -hmm. or their family their friends for the money but when all else fails there are venture capitalists who buy equity in your um what you call it your idea your or your idea, company yeah. Yeah. there are um, angel funding, mm. you know, resources that you can actually do. Sometimes now I've seen people actually do GoFundMe. Yeah. Yeah, GoFundMe. And I mean, by opening up to people, like you mentioned, you can even have opportunities to crowdfund exactly. ideas. Your friends can come exactly. together and, and create, yeah. You can actually have a business partner. Why do you have to do it all by yourself? Mm. 
You know, you can actually put the idea together with somebody, collaborate, mm. share, make sure you document it. I own 50%. What does the 50% give me? You own 50%. What does that give you? So there's no point in owning 1% of nothing mm. or 100% mm. of nothing when you can own, you know, part of it and then keep it moving. Mm. That is why if you look in Africa, okay, Ghana, we sort of don't have companies that live beyond the founder. Yeah. The founder dies and then it's, and then, it's yeah, dead, it's you know, mm. but it could be a collaboration, mm. well-documented, structured mm. properly, mm. and it will live on for the next generation mm. and the next generation, mm. like UMB has lived on for, ah, 50, for years 50 years and <laughs> counting. So when all that fails, you can also come to the bank. Mm. UMB, we're structured to also give you financial advice mm -hmm. and support. Mm -hmm. It could be an SME loan to for your SME business. Um, we recently did something. I won't take the wind out of their sails. So <laughs> we did something with an agri entrepreneur, mm -hmm. and I think that those are some of the things she started on her own, mm -hmm. and now everybody has seen the good work, and we're you know supporting. So mm -hmm. those are some of the avenues that you can look up to. All um, right. Yeah. So th th this is for you if you are looking at starting your own business, or if you are in the business already and you want to um, get some funding for yourself. Very very important key she's given. We're going to go over it, but. In case you just joined us, we're streaming live on ETV Ghana on Facebook, Y1079 FM. We're across the triangle now, Y107.9 FM here in Accra, and then Y1025 FM in Kumasi, Y979 FM in Takradi. If you're locked in anywhere um, across the three regions and you want to contribute, 020 is the official WhatsApp line. Plus, if you're on Twitter or Facebook, just put in... I am um, um, this hashtag UMB IYD 2022 and the questions will come directly to my laptop so we can discuss yours as well moving on further on to the conversation so you've given us tips on how to get funding right let's say I'm running a business so I'm running my personal life um, earlier you mentioned that people spend on unnecessary things in your experience Ken let me come to you mm. what are some of the things you deem inevitable when it comes to our day-to-day -day expenses things we must hold constant yes. Yes. things we should still spend on mm. and still be able to save yeah 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 i think on top of my head um the, the expenses for such inevitable uh, uh, events are uh, food, obviously. Okay, very uh, important. Man, man <laughs> must eat. Man I mean, mm. uh, food, food comes in first. Uh, now that you're satisfied, it makes you think better, uh, <laughs> take decisions better. <laughs> and so then you think about um, basic um, expense like data or, or airtime, mm. for instance, to get your social mm. networks. Mm. Nowadays, uh, someone would say because of the fuel hikes, yeah. I mean, th it's important to, to ask yourself, is it important for me to move from, like, my physical uh, location to mm -hmm. another, mm -hmm. or do a call, mm -hmm. or do, do, do a, a video call? All of these mm -hmm. helps you with savings. It's not, it's not about showing yourself physically. Mm -hmm. So things like airtime data, I mean, these are basic needs, mm -hmm. uh, obviously. Mm -hmm. uh, we can talk about rent. Um, I mean, Ghana. Very inevitable. <laughs> yes. <laughs> rent, rent is also an aspect. Yeah. I recently chanced upon an app where, where all the landlords are in there, registered in there. Really? And, and a tenant can just basically download the app and search with the area they want to be. Is yeah. it Nima? Is it East Ligon? And it pops up um, uh, places you want to rent with, with oh, the my budget. agents. You know, <laughs> so, so you know, people are coming up with yeah, ideas, ideas to cut yeah. off. But I believe that these are inevitable expenses mm -hmm. that uh, on the day to day we mm -hmm. think about. Mm -hmm. I mean, obviously, the school fees comes in, mm -hmm. um, even, even for, for families where they may have lost both parents, mm -hmm. you, you see that the, uh, the, the elder siblings Best, uh, bear this and mm -hmm. they need to take such decisions mm -hmm. as school fees for themselves and for their siblings as well. So, uh, these are inevitable expenses on top of my head that I think um, um, mm. people people think about on day to day. Okay, team, uh, anything we want to add? Okay, so have you, have you noticed that sometimes you, you have money, mm -hmm. but I realize you don't have money? Yeah, right now I get money. I know that. <laughs> <laughs> because everything go. You know, the data, uh, you need to buy like uh, one terabyte. Yeah. That way if I do the calculation, yeah. a floor like this, I have to fill the tank. Yeah. And asa, asa basically. <laughs> That is why I need to have a savings account. Mm. So whenever you get your money, mm -hmm. divide the money into three mm -hmm. and put one in the savings account, non-negotiable. You don't touch. You don't touch. Mm. So it's gone. Then you spend the rest. Mm. 
Why do you do that? It will help you. It will help you save. Because you see, whenever there's money in your hands, you want to spend it. Sometimes you just get a windfall. Or somebody gives you some money. Before you realize the money is finished, mm. what happened? Mm. But when you did not have money, you were managing within your means. That's how it works. So you need to have a savings account. In UMB, we can open a savings account for you. Put the money there. Lock the money. Mm. Don't touch it. Mm. Now, if you need to go back for an emergency, you borrow from your savings and bring it back. True. You don't take it and say, this is my money. No. <laughs> wow. You borrow from it and bring it back. That is how to save. That's a lot of discipline, you know? Yes. And, and to add to what ahead. he's saying, um, in terms of what do you prioritize? Mm. Obviously, your Maslow's theory of needs, mm. your physiological <laughs> ones are very important. Where you sleep, what you eat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but even what you eat, sometimes you have to think through, is it worth spending so much money in this restaurant, mm. taking a picture for mm. the gram, mm. or can I just go by the corner to that hajia who sells good wholesome and wache sort and sort out. myself mm -hmm. out, you know? I think I saw a video on YouTube or Facebook or Instagram, one of them, where the guy was saying, with 10 CDs, he was showing how he yeah, could live yeah. on 10 CDs, mm. and yet people were shouting and screaming that, I can't afford a meal on 10 CDs. Mm. He bought wache, he bought cocoa. Like, he really splurged. Yeah. So I think that look at how much you're spending on what mm. you even think mm. is priority. Mm. Is it really important? Yeah. Can I find a better or cheaper alternative? Yeah. And if it's cheap, does it take away from who I am? It doesn't. Mm. There are people who are making a living on hacks or doing hacks on TikTok and making so much mm. money because they're teaching you how to live a certain mm. quality of mm. life with the budget mm. or within a budget. So don't do it because somebody else can afford it and they're doing it. If somebody can afford rent in East Legon and you can live comfortably in Nima, what's the shame mm. in that? Mm. Save that money and rather invest in a home, you know, for the future. That mm. becomes yours permanently or you could be a landlord too. Rather than just, you know, living above your means and then every day Charlie Mika so you sort me out. Give me like, you know, that's that's really not cool. Wow. Let me just push this thing. Please push it in and if you you want to buy a car mm -hmm. you've reached a certain stage in life you want to buy a car you don't go for a 3.5 liter engine car mm. you don't start from <laughs> no. you, you are not trying to impress anybody boys. no <laughs> you want to chill with their big boys <laughs> and you can imagine maybe you're working your boss is using a 2.5 liter car you well, are using 1. a 3.5 so you should rather buy a smaller car that will help you manage your expenses. Mm, mm. Do not look at where, how big the car is. Or no, no, no. You're not you, here you to don't even know your boss's salary. No. <laughs> you see, so you find people are you are, are not earning much, mm. but they are spending so mm. much. So at the end of the day, they are spending more than they earn. Mm. Then they are living in debt. Mm. So if you start life from a hole, how are you going to come out of that hole? By the time you you life? get to the tip of the hole, people are gone. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Mm. <laughs> Mm. Okay, boss. Very important. Now, how do we then control, um, you know, our expenditure? You gave some very important tips on how we can look at the value of what we want, look at the better and uh, cheaper options, and then go for that if we can't afford. Mm -hmm. So we can afford what we want in the near future. But beyond that, can we add anything else? Um, Jeffrey, um, okay. uh, Ken, since Ken, uh, I mean, Foresee spoke about that already. Okay. So one of the tips I'll give is have a shopping list. Okay. So you just don't go looking around and buying what you want to buy. So sit down and write, I need tomatoes, mm. I need this, I need this. Write it all down mm. and get the cost by it. Mm. Have that aside. Mm. And then avoid impulse buying. Mm. If you buy on impulse, it means you are buying without planning. Mm. Or it's an unbudgeted expense. That's what we say in banking. When you keep doing that, you never be able to save. Because you haven't planned for it. You see, the marketing is designed to make it look beautiful. Okay. If you keep buying everything that is beautiful in the market, <laughs> you're never going to have That's money. That's why they arrange it on the... <laughs> yes. They display very nice ones. Very nice ones. <laughs> very important. <laughs> Another tip is keep a personal expense sheet. You don't need... To, it's nothing complicated. Mm -hmm. Everything you spend, write it down. I mean, these days, there are even apps that would help you do that. Yes. Yeah. It will surprise mm. you that you notice that you are spending about a thousand or two thousand in a week on things that are not really necessary. Mm. Mm. And then mm. start canceling out the things. You know what we call needs and wants. And wants, yeah. There are things you need, like food. Mm. Fine. Cancel out those things. You realize how much you are saving. Some people also save the excess on their, let's say, salaries or whatever they get. So if you are being paid, let's say, 2,000.50, they move the 50 and put it down. 
<laughs> they move all the excesses and put it in a savings account. That's where you can build your money. One last tip. In the morning, if you are going to work or you are going to school or wherever you are going, you buy breakfast. Mm. Sometimes you can buy a cup of Milo, 10 CDs. Mm -hmm. Buy uh, bread and egg, mm -hmm. another 10 CDs. And maybe add some sausage and other things. Yeah. That's like 30 CDs. You, you are enjoying 30 CDs <laughs> or 40 CDs one morning. Multiply it the whole month. How much are you going to spend just on breakfast? Why don't you buy Milo? Mm -hmm. Keep it in mm -hmm. the house. Get a cup. Mm -hmm. Get hot water, mm -hmm. put it in, mm -hmm. buy bread, cut it, fry your egg and put it in, put it in your back. Thirty cities for the whole week. You might. You might be able to do it. Yes. So sometimes you just have to cook. Mm. You see, <laughs> when you cook, it helps you to save. Mm. The people who are selling are cooking for you. Mm. So they've added more mm. because they're not cooking. Yeah. If you want to save, sometimes it's simple. Mm -hmm. Just cook. I mean th that's very important and not to you know, discourage anybody doing business. Listen, yeah. if you're running a be breakfast business, <laughs> big shouts going out to you. I mean, keep at it. There are people who genuinely buy. I mean, you know, there are some too, let's be very realistic here, there are some who cannot afford the time to even cook. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, there are some who cannot afford the time to even stay and pack whatever it is that we're preparing. Um, let's say I have to sit in my Trotsky to work. Maybe I might not be able to afford the luxury of getting all that done. But um, in such situations, if you realize your money is enough, for you to be able to afford that 30 city breakfast every day. Go you. Yeah. Uh, I mean, maybe beyond that, you have some more to save. But we're speaking to the ones who might not have that much. Exactly. You know, your financial burdens are so big that that lifestyle will not be able sustain. to afford you. Exactly. Sustain right. you and even afford you the ability to solve whatever problems that you have anytime soon. And so why are you going to pressure yourself into doing things that you don't want to? We're being very realistic today. These are things that you can apply to your life. Afford what you can afford. Break it down. If you know that 100 Ghana City, you even mentioned 30. Mm -hmm. Some are spending 100 and 150 Ghana City. Listen, big shouts going out to the ones who can afford it. But if you know you cannot afford it, Cut be it. honest with yourself. Buy a tin of Milo. Buy your bread. Give the bread maker some 20 city and tell her, you know what, supply me bread the entire week. If you're a big bread consumer like myself, you can buy maybe <laughs> one every day and then consume. But whatever it is, cut down your expenses. Plan like he mentioned. Monitor your expenditure. And then ensure that you're not going beyond what is going to break your back. Mm -hmm. If that happens, you're going to end your life abruptly. One day, pe before you realize you are nowhere to be found because your money is done and you've bought so much. You're in so much debt. Life is not fun for you. Yeah. Ken, would you want to add some more? Yes, just want to add one final tip. Mm. I mean, uh, there are good days, there are bad days. Mm. And uh, looking at the situation we find ourselves in Ghana, I believe that uh, you need to readjust. Uh, there are certain habits that you used to do, but now that times are hard, I believe that this is time to readjust. Mm. If, if, if you used to take that Uber, um, uh, for that distance mm. all this while. Maybe you need to now mm. rethink, mm -hmm. uh, can I do that with a bicycle? Can I do that with just uh, a Trotsky instead? Um, readjusting just fits into the budgeting mm. aspect that I, I, I talked about. And I believe that um, once, once you do these things, it will help. Mm. Lastly, what I want to add is, um, I do it personally. Okay. Anytime I am given a bonus, out of the blue, mm. something unexpected comes to me. Okay. I put it in an, in an investment. I don't touch it because I, I take it as, okay, nothing came, and I put it, uh, I put it somewhere. Uh, many a times we get all these goodies, all these tips from people which we never plan for, and we utilize it mm -hmm. so fast. Um, one tip that I want to give the youth today is that such incomes that you, we get which is unexpected. You haven't planned for it. It came because someone realized that you are you're beautiful. You yeah, are yesterday my boss nice asked me money. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right, take this money. Yeah. You know, or you smile yeah. at that customer. That mm. customer gave mm. you that fat mm. tip. Put it aside in mm. savings. Just make do with your now your shouldn't salary. go to the Friday exactly. night and, and as you do that you'll be amazed <laughs> mm. uh, what what mm. what you you can make in the mm. future all right Sorry. thank you so much for that because of time we might just have to skip skip a lot of the things but okay. um you mentioned something very very important i want us to revisit that jeffrey yeah um the fact that you don't have to touch your savings and um, you know, be very disciplined as to the amount of money you put aside. Mm -hmm. I'm a very young guy, okay? I have friends who think the 
investing in their future because they are saving. And I'm also told savings is a totally different concept from investment. Mm. Please, you guys are the experts. <laughs> Break down the differences between investment, okay. having an investment account, and then having a savings account. Okay. Then after that, we'll look at the investment opportunities available for us as young people, and then the savings opportunities available for us, uh, you know, mm -hmm. from UMB. Okay, let me illustrate. Mm -hmm. As you mean, you plant a purple tree, mm -hmm. it bears fruits. Mm -hmm. You don't just eat all the fruit on the purple tree and wait for the next time it bears no. fruits. You take one of the fruits, the ripe one, and plant the seed. Mm. That is investment. Mm. Planting the purple is savings. So yeah. it's this is the principle. I call it the gag principle, gather and grow. Mm. So you gather by savings. Once you save, let's assume you're able to save 200 CDs every month, you gather. Mm -hmm. Now, after it's gathered, you let it grow by putting it in an investment instrument. Okay, so for example, in UMB, you can open a UMB savings account. You gather, you gather, you gather, you have 5,000. Mm -hmm. You put that 5000 in a fixed deposit. Okay. That is an investment account at a certain rate. So that fixed deposit, that 5000 you leave it for three months, six months mm -hmm. or more, it can become mm -hmm. 8000 9000 mm -hmm. So that's when you have got that, but now you are letting it grow. So the difference is that savings lets you gather. Mm -hmm. There's still an investment component in savings, mm -hmm. but it's not as much because you can just pick it anytime. Yeah. But when you put it in a fixed deposit, it means you are telling the financial institution that I'm not touching this money for this period. And because I'm not touching it, I want some value on it. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's how it works. So I remember this principle, gag principle, gather, gather and, and grow, grow. Mm. and it will help you. All right. Um, Ken, would you add something for Steve? Yes. Uh, on the differences between... Uh, <laughs> All right. Uh, so, so I just want to add to what um, Jeffrey just said. Um, the, the investment aspect also guards your, your savings mm. uh, against inflation mm. so that um, the value that that 5,000 gives you today will give you same or more value in the next year. Mm. And so that long investment or that investment that you've paid your savings into, um, the investment will protect you because of the shocks. Now the inflation is haywire, um, the dollar is all, all <laughs> over the place. And so you would want to uh, safeguard mm -hmm. that savings mm -hmm. that you have mm -hmm. into an investment vehicle, and that will do the trick for you. Another thing is also trying to get much more returns mm. yeah, like jeffrey said yes for savings you get returns but that may be on the short term because you always have access to it but when you put it in an investment um it gives you that higher return uh to be able to 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 cash in on that mm -hmm. so right. that that is uh, basically um the differences but is this the objective you have behind these two mm -hmm. that makes a savings or an investment okay yeah. for see before you add to that um you might want to join the investment opportunities available for young people so mm. um we know the the difference between investment and savings now okay so um, jeffrey will tell me the savings opportunities and products at umb for young people and okay. then you tell me the investment opportunities and products for young people as well i mean how do we invest after we invest our money okay so uh, for some, they'll say, okay, I don't have a lot. The savings account is, is in itself a sort of investment mm. because you're putting your money away and then the bank will add something. Mm. So it's not as the margin is not as great as an investment mm. instrument, but it's still putting your money and getting something on top of it. And then we have the fixed deposits. So you come in, like he said, it's an investment instrument. You come in and then we calculate the rates mm -hmm. um, based on what the Bank of Ghana will allow us to. And then we say that, okay, I'm locking away 10 CDs now. And in maybe a year's time, I should be able to get maybe five more CDs. Okay. It, rather than you putting in an account and then it's not really yielding as much as you there's also the treasury bills that um, you can also take advantage of umb also has a pedigree of helping people list on certain st stock markets okay. so some people think i'm too young to buy shares i saw a video on um, facebook and the woman said um, she mentioned particular brands of phones and 
everybody was proud to raise their hands and say, yes, I own it. And she asked the question, how much of shares do you own in these companies? Mm -hmm. And everybody had put their hand down. She was like, you, you know, you can buy shares in a company for as little mm -hmm. as just a dollar, mm -hmm. you know, but we don't think of those things. So just walk into UMB, we have our registrar's departments. They will be able to walk you through some of the companies that are listing. They are mm -hmm. floating their shares around. It could be five CDs, 20 CDs, 30 CDs. It may mean very little to you now. But next year, but you can do Yes, when they declare their <laughs> dividends sure. and their mm. profits, mm. you'll be smiling mm. all the way mm. to the bank while mm. people are, you know, scratching mm. their chins, asking for pittance, you know. So those are some of the things that we have. Okay. And then sometimes insurance is not something that a lot of us think oh that's very important yes mm -hmm. insurance for what mm -hmm. especially when you think of life when you think of the funeral policy people feel like ah why should i plan for death why not <laughs> you don't have the luxury of tomorrow mm -hmm. it's a gift mm -hmm. that the creator gives us so those are some of the many exciting um investment, investment opportunities. opportunities at umb but jeffrey oh, is more vested in, in that, that field <laughs> so he, he was <laughs> On Jeffrey, that. so you talk on that and then yes. you give me the savings uh, opportunities as well. Okay, okay great. Thanks, Fasna. So Fasna said a lot of it. Mm. For example, the insurance, mm. if you come to UMB, you can give you a bank assurance product. Okay. So it protects you against death, mm -hmm. permanent disability, and temporary disability, mm. or personal accidents. Anything can happen to you. Right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you can sign up. So when you sign up, what happens is that every month, the premium will be taken from your account. Yeah. And then you get the cover. You get, of course, you get all the documentation. So anything happens, then the insurance kicks in. Mm -hmm. And when very uncertain times, anything can happen. Mm -hmm. So I encourage everybody to get onto a bank assurance product. Okay. okay. Now that is there. Another thing too is for students. I'm talking about the products we have yeah. now. We have the UMB Aspire account. I mentioned that UMB is a student's bank. Mm -hmm. So we're giving you a free Visa Classic card on this account. So you can transact. Mm -hmm. You can download Speed Up free and you can transact. And that account is special for students. Mm -hmm. so I'm focusing on students. If you are not a student, you can't open the UMB Aspire account. Mm -hmm. If you are a worker, then you come in with a UMB salary account mm -hmm. and then the UMB savings account. So you open the salary account. Let's say you get let's say 2000 mm -hmm. and then you open a savings account and tell the bank i want to save 500 every month so set a standing order on your salary your account salary. every month to just move mm. remember i mentioned lock the money yes, yes. So it's not now that you are going to check the bank will move it <laughs> you sent it already <laughs> you sent it already so the thousand five you can enjoy that one but the 500 is your savings now when you gather that then you can move into the investment okay the, the mm. 500 500 over a period can grow and then move into the UMB placement accounts where you can do the fixed deposits, you can do the treasury bills, you can buy stock and everything mm -hmm. that was not mentioned. That is why I said you gather and you grow. You gather and you grow. So yes. not in just farming, in all this. <laughs> in all this. <laughs> yeah. Let your money yeah. grow for you. Yeah. Thank yeah. you so much, uh, you know, Jeffrey, for that. Um, w now, the final thing, I think I always leave the <laughs> hard decisions to <laughs> Ken. <laughs> I know, right? Um, Ken, what would you advise? Okay. Do we choose investment or savings when the opportunity hits us? I have money now. Okay. What would you advise? Do I just ignore savings and go into investment um, after all they've mentioned, or I just choose savings? Do I plant the pawpaw or plant the seed? Or chop some and plant <laughs> the seed? Thank you. I, I think it goes together. Um, um, they go hand in hand. Mm -hmm. I believe the first step is to start with savings. Mm -hmm. And then once that that's, starts, then you put some aside out of the savings for investment. Technology-wise, I just want to add to what Jeffrey said. Um, we, our UMB Speed Up is, is, is a one-stop uh, platform where wherever you are now, you can just go onto the stores and download the UMB Speed Up. Okay. And without you having stepping into our bank branches, can can sign up onto our UMB wallet mm -hmm. by signing up. You can be able to enjoy um, um, a savings platform. Mm -hmm. Imagine where you save one CD a day and get to see the interest that accrues for you every day. The UMB speed up uh, gives you that. This is and and yeah. we, we, don't, we don't mind if you don't have the full KYC. All we need is your Ghana card mm. to sign up. Mm. All you need to do is just download and then register. And as you put funds onto your UMB wallet, you get to see all the 
uh, uh, interest bearing onto mm. it at the end of the month it is credited onto your wallet mm. and so I believe that the savings and investment you can't important. decouple yeah. them it yes. goes together mm. and the, 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 the first step is to start saving mm. and once it grows to a point you push it aside into an investment vehicle yes. Wow and thank you so there. much yes. let me uh, just uh, yeah, sure but ahead. so if you have some big money sitting there mm -hmm. you bring it to UMB we invest it for we'll you. do business for you but yes. if it's a small you can grow it but if it's big you've been keeping it come even if it's from another bank, bring it. Yes. We'll sort you out. Actually, go and take it from another bank. <laughs> yes. And we are, <laughs> we are just a phone call away. Yes. Uh, our social media handles, you can just reach out to us. And if, I, we, if I, you want you, we want us to come to you, we can. Yes, come. yes, yes. We'll yes. come. I mean, just give us a call, we'll come. Yes. They'll drive and come. They are beautiful cars, they will come. And I mean, <laughs> let me just add this. I really love what UMB Bank is doing. I mean, UMB is doing. Um, International Youth Day is very, very important to uh, Brand YFM. Um, our station is for the young and young at heart, and it goes in line with your, you know, mission as well. And so, um, thank you so much for thinking about us, mm -hmm. and you know, cool. investing time and then money into ensuring that we learn bits and bits on how to be financially sound as young people. I mean, uh, at this space, I believe soon, um, young people of our land will be, uh, you know, fine mm -hmm. financially, so that we can make the wisest decisions and, I mean, clear crime from our lives, and then you know, move towards the better Ghana that we've all dreamt of. And also, I like your branding. I like your buildings. The one at East Ligon, I just drive by all the time. I mean, when you guys are ready to let it go and get another one, call me. I'll come and pick the house. Thank you so much. Um, you know, Fosti, Fosti is... Um, uh, for Stina Yaa PR is Corporate Affairs at UMB. Mm -hmm. um, Jeffrey Odami Yabo is Head of Personal Banking at UMB. And Kennedy um, Minako is Team Lead UMB Transaction. Before we go, final words, um, any final comments you'd like to add, advice uh, on top of all that we've shared? Yes, um, I'll say that don't give small money chance. That's mm -hmm. one thing my mom always tells me. You may think it's one CD. Yeah, it's of no value to you. You like my friends. I and think my it's colleagues. really misinterpreted, you know? Yes. Don't give that small money chance. Mm. Lock it away. Mm. You'd never know when it will come in handy. Mm. And then for the parents, encourage the children to save. When they put the money in the susu box, don't emotionally blackmail mm -hmm. them that, oh, that's what I use for your Christmas tree. <laughs> Help the children to make financial decisions mm -hmm. for themselves so that they can learn the consequences of their, their actions. Mm -hmm. That way, when you're teaching them, they don't go to become adults who borrow without paying. Mm -hmm. And if you have to borrow, yes, even the American economy goes borrowing. Okay. So borrowing is borrow not... mindfully. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. Borrow and re borrow on terms that you you know you're mm -hmm. sure that you can repay mm -hmm. so that people don't start chasing you and then mm -hmm. you're telling somebody, tell them I'm not around. <laughs> so, and then save and invest. Mm. You're, it's never too late to save and invest. Those are some of the things. And I wish everybody a happy International Youth Day. Nothing. And thank you, YFM, for having us. Welcome. Jeffrey. Okay. Do not take shortcuts. <laughs> um, you can stab yourself with a lot of pain if you mm. take shortcuts. Our dear youth. Mm. So from UMB Bank, we want to say that own your financial security. Mm. Rome wasn't built in a day. Never. Neither were the pyramids of Egypt. It starts with baby steps. Now, the baby steps will become great steps mm. if you just focus. Mm. So do not think about uh, managing your finances tomorrow. Mm. Think of it today. Now. Every day counts. Mm. You know, every day you make money. That's true. Yes. So if you wait, you are losing money. Mm. So every day counts. So work into any of our branches. Open your UMB Aspire account, savings account, salary accounts. Mm -hmm. Sign on to speed up and watch your money grow. Watch your money grow and make sure you grow and gather, like you mentioned. Exactly. Um, Gather and grow, actually. Gather Sorry. Can I? Yes. So, finally, I just want to leave uh, this short message for the youth of Ghana and across the world that uh, raise your head high and leave all the fear of mind behind. Mm. Never step back when the storms come. Instead, face it with full courage. Mm. And with that, um, if you are financially empowered, uh, this, this will, will stay true to you. Mm. I just want to wish on behalf of... Uh, the entire UMB management, um, International Youth Day to the youth of Ghana and beyond. And um, we wish to say that uh, this has been a great opportunity interacting with the youth. And uh, it's just a call away. Mm. Uh, anytime, any day, uh, we, we will sort you out. All right. Thank you so much to, um, to you all for spending time with us today. I know you guys are very, very busy. Mm -hmm. um, we appreciate uh, your time and we are very grateful for this. I know. Parts and parts of this conversation will be cut and replayed uh, in the course of the 
you know, the month so that we can stay informed about the right decisions to make as young people. Guys, it's been a wonderful morning um, with the team from UMB. We had a conversation, a beautiful conversation on uh, intergenerational solidarity. Of course, it's in line with the team for International Youth Day 2022. And we basically focused on financial literacy. Uh, we had conversations on um, the basics around financial literacy. Uh, we gave tips on good financial practices, things that will help you. We spoke about the bad ones. Um, we differentiated um, uh, uh, between uh, investment and savings, give savings and investment opportunities available for young people generally, and then, of course, product from UMB designed for you. If you need to take up your life now with regards to your finances, take these things serious, read further, learn to equip yourself with the right tools to be able to survive in this financially growing you know, economy we find ourselves in. Do the right things. Do the right things for yourself and your future, and you forever live right. Okay. Make sure you contact UMB. Um, they said your doors are open anytime you want to walk in. Just walk in. Let's do business together. Fifty nine after ten. This is Y one zero seven point nine FM. Every weekend on the Y Campus Express, we take you on a tour of Ghana. Discover the.